James Ellison, what brings you to the 2012 TT? Just the excitement, to be honest. I came in uh, 2009 to watch one, um, back in the day in 91 with my dad, um, and just really enjoyed it, so I just wanted to come back, and I brought my wife over as well. She's from Texas, so never experienced anything like the TT. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to some good racing. So you've had the chance to see some racing before. What do you think of the TT as an event? Um, for me, as a rider, I think it's nuts, to be honest. Uh, but exciting at the same time. The guys, got a lot, I've got a lot of respect for the guys that do it. Um, it's just amazing if you actually think about what they're doing out there. Um, all the corners, all the apexes they've got to hit, the braking markers, and it's just immense. So, uh, as a rider, I can, I can respect it and relate to it, but, yeah, absolutely crazy. <laughs> Obviously, the TT in recent years had guests from MotoGP and World Superbike and British Superbike. Do you think in motorcycling terms globally, the TT is growing as an event? I think so, yeah, and, and for the same reason, you know, the guys have come from MotoGP to see this. They've seen it on TV maybe or heard about it, but until you're actually here and experience it, you don't really appreciate fully how you know how amazing it actually is so um, I think that's what what's made it grow you know these guys like Lorenzo and Rossi they've all come over and seen it and, and just gone wow and um, I think it's just started to uh, gather a bit more momentum so uh, hopefully just keep moving forward. You've obviously had a couple of days in the Isle of Man not necessarily the best of weather this year but have you had a chance to soak up a little bit of the atmosphere and see a little bit of the Isle of Man what do you think of the place? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I spent uh, about three weeks here a couple of years ago just using the hyperbaric chamber to recover from a, a leg injury. So uh, I got to experience a little bit of it then. It's just such a friendly place. I mean, it, it, obviously it is a, a fairly small island, so everybody kind of knows everyone, but they're just the, the community is amazing over here and everyone's so friendly. I mean, you know, you've seen this weekend with the weather rather inclement for, for over here and um, a lot of, you know, We've had a few cancellations and stuff and everybody seems to be sort of just waiting and, and whatever and, and the public have just been amazing. They've been, you know, getting people into the houses and complete strangers and saying, you know, have a shower and here's a cup of tea and wash your clothes and it's just incredible. So um, it's, it's definitely special over here. There's often people who are keen to try and compare short circuit riders with the road racers. Very difficult to do that, very different disciplines. How do you feel about road races? Do you view them as professional sportsmen the same way you would somebody doing your job? Oh yeah, without question. Um, but there is that, I think there's a different mindset in, um, in road, road racing rather than short circuit racing, which is why it's hard to, to some of the guys to adapt. I mean, just off the top of my head, I, I think one guy who, one of the main guys who's done that is Steve Plater. You know, he's quick on short circuits and he's quick over here, but it is very rare to see. Um, even even McGuinness, I mean, yeah, he's a good circuit rider, but over here is absolutely incredible. And it is just that different mindset. You've got to kind of reset your brain into a different way of uh, racing a motorcycle. But they, you know, they're, they're still athletes and they're still um, professional athletes as well at that. So um, yeah, just a different breed. <laughs> you obviously have a lot of experience. You've raced at the very highest levels. Obvious question, really: Would you ever consider racing here, or even just taking the parade lap? Let me think about that. No, <laughs> definitely not. I'd, uh, I would love to do a parade lap. I mean, we were hoping to get one done yesterday, but the uh, weather was a little bit iffy. Um, yeah, I, I just want to experience it, but I would never, ever in a million years come and race here because I just know I haven't got that kind of skill to do it. And like I said, different breed. But you do feel there is a place for events like the TT alongside all the other fine motorcycling events we have? Oh, absolutely. I don't think it would, I think it'd be very sorely missed if, uh, if you didn't run the TT. I mean, it's just, it is the event every year, you know, everybody looks forward to it. I mean, I always watch it on TV, but it, it's just extra special to be here. So um, long may it continue.